All right, Jeremy Veldman, August 21, 2023. Exactly six years ago was the last Great American Total Solar Eclipse. That was on a Monday also. And of course, we're less than eight months away, seven and a half months away from the next Great American Total Solar Eclipse on April 8, 2024. Now today what I wanna do is demonstrate this uh, Solar Snap app that you can get for your iPhone. And it turns out you can take some pretty good pictures, I think, of the eclipse with uh, this Solar Snap app and with your iPhone. So we're gonna try this out today. You can get this from American Paper Optics right here in Memphis, Tennessee, my buddy John Jarrett. Just go to eclipseglasses.com. And these are about 12 bucks a piece. I picked up a couple of these. So let's just go ahead and jump in here and uh, see what it looks like on the iPhone for taking uh, pictures of the eclipse. So if we open this up, you'll see here you get this booklet and it gives you instructions on the inside of the booklet for how to use this. And there's actually a QR code here in the upper left. So if you take your iPhone and you scan that QR code, you will actually download the Solar Snap app for free on your phone. And that will have a few simple um, uh, features, if you will, that you can use to tweak and actually get the sun into the field of view of your iPhone. I'll show you that in a minute. Now, the other thing you get is you get a couple pairs of um, eclipse glasses. So that's also good. A couple extra pair of eclipse glasses. And then you also get this right here. And this is the actual Solar Snap app, if you will. You get two of these. And they're pretty simple. There's just a simple filter that goes on the back of your iPhone, like so. And there's, there's actually a Velcro stick that you can use. Now, for the purposes of today, I'm just using a piece of blue tape. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but uh, they have these Velcro sticks that you can use. And basically what you do is you just put it on the back of your uh, Solar Snap app here. And then you take that and you stick it on the back of your iPhone and you're ready to go. So here we are, and again, I'm using blue tape. Now you gotta download the app, install the filter, and then uh, the booklet will actually give you instructions on how to tweak the filter to get the sun into the field of view of your iPhone, and you can use that to take partial, to take pictures of the partial phases of the eclipse. So this is great for the annular coming up in October, or for the total next April, if you want to take partial phases or take pictures of the partial phases of the eclipse. So let's actually go through that now so I can show you kind of how this works on your iPhone. All right, so I'm in my phone and now I'm going to go to my Solar Snap app, which I just downloaded. And here it is. Again, this is free. And I'm going to actually point it now at the sun. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here for the purposes of illustration. It'll probably look more like this. So you got three knobs on the right side. You've got the zoom, you got the exposure and the focus. So it's pretty bright right now. Let's go ahead and drop the focus down so we get more of a disc. And then let's try to zoom it in. Again, I'm doing this by hand in my iPhone. So it's gonna be a little shaky. If you had a stand, um, it'd be a little easier. And then uh, again, if I increase my exposure, it's gonna be kind of bright. So I'm gonna drop that down so I can get a disc here. And there we go. And again, I'm pointing the iPhone at the sun, but I'm blocking the sun out. You never want to look at the sun directly. I'm looking right at my computer screen, or my iPhone screen, essentially using that as a shield, if you will, to uh, block the sun, so I'm not looking at it directly. So I'm gonna drop the focus down a little bit, try to get a sharper focus here. And uh, again, drop the exposure a little bit. And you can see the disk of the sun. Now, obviously, there's no eclipse today, but you can see that if we had partial eclipse phases, we could actually see that bite of the moon taking a chunk out of the sun as it was moving across the disk. So you can see kind of the potential here for using this to capture the partial phases of the eclipse. Now, there's three options on the left side. There's the total during totality, if you want to take multiple pictures of the uh, Corona. Obviously, we'll test that out on April 8. There's the uh, partial option here. You want to take uh, rapid pictures of the partial phases or just an ordinary photo. For the purposes of today, I'm just going to use photo. And again, I want to get as clear a picture of the disk as I can. 
And then I'm just gonna snap it on the right side here, like I'm taking an ordinary picture. Grab one, two, three, four, and it looks pretty good. Now obviously if you wanna get all this in succession, you're gonna to wanna to stand instead of just doing this by hand here. But you can get kind of an idea of what the pictures would look like after you take them here with this app. And uh, it's not perfect, but if you're gonna use this for your, you're gonna use your iPhone to try and get uh, pictures of the eclipse, the partial phases, and then we'll see what totality looks like with this thing. Uh, this solar eclipse, the solar snap app, you know, it looks pretty interesting here. So anyway, this gives you kind of a quick idea here. Let's take a couple more just for uh, the sake of it. I'm trying to get a better focus here. Drop the focus down. If it gets blurry like this, then you know you're, fo you're out of focus. You want to tweak it down just a little bit. And the other thing you can do when you get it where you want it, you can hit this lock button up here and that will lock your focus. And then we can go ahead and just take a couple more pictures just for, for good measure. All right, so there it is. Again, just kind of a quick look here at the Solar Snap app for your iPhone. You just kind of put it on the back of your iPhone here where your camera lenses are and that blocks out the, uh, the view of the sun. You just point it at the sun and then go to work on the app to try and get the, the disk of the sun in focus here and you can take several pictures if you want. So here again, here's, here it is again. Again, you can pick this up for about 12 bucks at uh, American Paper Optics. Some of the other websites out there on the Eclipse offer links for this as well. And uh, all the details are inside, including a QR code to download the Solar Snap app on your phone. It is free, fairly easy to use. I've never used it for an eclipse, so full disclosure, my first time will be probably in October, October 14th for the annular. And this seems like a pretty good option for capturing an annular eclipse also with your phone. And um, yeah, then we'll see how this does next April. But you can see that there's some decent options now for capturing eclipse photos with your with your iPhone. Now, obviously, if you're a professional and you have all the the, uh, the fancy DSLR equipment and you got a, a solar filter, you're going to get some pretty spectacular images. But uh, if you're just an iPhone user and you want an option for capturing the, the the phases of the eclipse, try this out. Again, American Paper Optics. Uh, go to eclipseglasses.com or you can go to greatamericaneclipse.com and find a link to this as well. So it's out there. And of course, if you're in Memphis, if you're in Memphis like I am, you can just drop in to American Paper Optics in Bartlett and just pick it up. That's basically what I did. Give them 12 bucks or in my case, 25 and I picked up two of these. So uh, pretty neat. So again, August 21, 2023, six year anniversary of the last Great American Eclipse. Next one is only seven and a half months away. It's really hard to believe. But again, we got an annular coming up in the fall, October 14. You gotta be in the path of annularity to see the ring, but everywhere, most of the places in the United States will see at least a partial solar eclipse. So this app could be a good, a good option for, for that as well. So uh, if you're just a, you have an iPhone user, you know, and you want kind of something simple, then check out the uh, Solar Snap app at uh, Great American, at, uh, at EclipseClasses.com, American Paper Optics, and GreatAmericanEclipse.com. So, I'm Jeremy Veldman, thanks for watching, and we are on the countdown now, less than two months to the annular, and less than eight months until the next total solar eclipse. Clear skies, and we'll see you there.